Cool. All right, I'm Rachel Thomas. I'm going to be saying, talking about deep learning. It's more than a fad. I'm on Twitter at math underscore Rachel, and I'll tweet a link to my slide deck later. So a question I hear a lot is, are artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning all synonyms? Is deep learning just a marketing buzzword? And the answer is no. Um, deep learning is a very specific class of powerful algorithms. So broadly, artificial intelligence is kind of a broad field. Um, machine learning is a very interesting um, and large subfield of that. And then deep learning is just one class of awesome algorithms, also known as multi-layer neural networks. So what can deep learning do? Uh, it's better at English and Mandarin speech recognition than most people, which I think is incredible. Um, Gmail has a feature called Smart Reply, where you will kind of parse your email, so someone's emailed you about your vacation plans, and it'll auto-generate several possible responses. So you could say, no plans yet, I just sent them to you, or I'm working on them. Um, and deep learning is coming up with that for you. And this was actually an April Fool's Day joke from Google in 2009, because it seemed so outlandish. And then in 2015, they released it as an actual feature. And then art. So on the left is a picture of some houses next to a canal. Um, in the center is Van Gogh's Starry Night. And on the right is a new piece of artwork generated by deep learning, combining the two. Image captioning. So here, the algorithm is just given the image, and then it's generating text that describes it, which involves it's having to identify what the different components of the picture are and how they fit together, and then generate the text. So the top right picture, the algorithm comes up with construction worker in orange safety vest is working on road. This is the headline from a Wall Street Journal article about using deep learning to diagnose heart conditions. Deep learning is also being used to tell if a tumor is cancerous or not from a CT scan. And then um, Google's data centers, where they have all their servers, generate a huge amount of heat. And just earlier this summer, Google announced that they are using deep learning to reduce their cooling bill by 40%, which is huge. So kind of all these applications I've mentioned are powered by the same, uh, same class of algorithms, deep learning. So this is not an exhaustive list, but deep learning is good at reading and generating text, identifying and creating images, recognizing and interpreting speech. And what's really noteworthy about this is that these are all things that are very um, natural and intuitive for humans to do, so much so that we often don't know how to describe how we know how to do these things. And historically, they've been very, very difficult for computers. So it's very noteworthy that deep learning is excelling in these areas. And so this, uh, this I wanted to show you because if you do really any sort of machine learning tutorial, not just deep learning, you will probably come across digit recognition. It's kind of the hello world of machine learning. And the problem is uh, people have a wide variety of handwriting. Some of us are very floppy. We might write a little crooked or messy. And computers need to be able to know what digit that corresponds to. So on the left, we've got this slanted crooked eight. And we want a mathematical function that can output the digit eight. That's what this is. And so to the computer, an image is just a matrix of numbers. So here, each pixel corresponds to a single number. Um, in this case, it's zero for white pixels, 255 for black, and every possible shade of gray in between. And we just need a function going from this matrix on the left to output eight. And deep learning is one possible function for that. Direction. <laughs> So how can you get started? Um, if this interests you, TensorFlow is a Python library from Google, and they have a super beginner-friendly tutorial. So if you're brand new to uh, machine learning, that's a good place to start. If you want to go further, you'll need to learn or review linear algebra, which is vectors and matrices. Um, Khan Academy is a great resource. I'd say even if you didn't like math when you were younger or thought you were bad at it, you probably just had a bad teacher, and I encourage you to give math a second chance. And then I just wanted to say, uh, personally, I feel so compelled by deep learning that I quit my job to start a research lab focused on it. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a question? Ah. 
Um, so my thought is, I'm actually, I think, much more, cons oh, the question was, uh, what are my thoughts about the singularity and kind of controversy around artificial intelligence? Um, I'm more concerned about job loss. Um, I think it's already happening that um, computers are, repl are replacing jobs. And there's definitely a question of, does our society have the kind of social safety nets to um, care for people when there just aren't enough jobs? Um, to go around. So I'd say that's an issue I'd like to see get more attention.